thinking about a finite state machine to control uh, the traffic lights at a four-way intersection, um, I'd actually start out not by thinking of any of the questions that I gave you, but what kind of simplifications then we can we make to get to a nice sense of abstraction. So the first I'm going to say we're not going to deal with pedestrians, we're going to assume single lanes, no perpendicular traffic, We've got three sensors, one for east-west, one for north-south, and a timer, and we've got a set of um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different actions. So three on the east-west lights, three on the north-south lights, and one to set the timer and wait for it to tick out. So we'd start off with two simple states, and I've called them east-west go and north-south go. And this is when traffic is free to flow east-west and not north-south. Um, and for the north-south go state, we would allow traffic to travel north-south and not east-west. So immediately we can imagine what lights would need to be on and off for those particular scenarios. Um, the problem is if we just had those two states, we would require to instant transmission between one state and another state. And practically this might create crashes because very simply, there might be cars going through the intersection. Now, we'd like to assume that people were following the road code and wouldn't immediately crash into each other, but practically traffic lights have a third option other than just stop and go, they have this yellow light. And to capture that complexity, I've added another state called stopping. And this stopping will allow us to have a yellow light on either the north-south or the east-west for a set amount of time. Once we've got to this point, we simply add the transitions between these different states. And so I'm gonna say we move from one state to another state sequentially like this. I've laid them out this way, it might take you a few goes, but I'm essentially saying we want to go from allowing east-west traffic to um, slowing down with the yellow light east-west traffic to stopping east-west traffic and allowing north-south tra uh, traffic, then to slow down uh, north-south traffic and then to allow east-west traffic again. Now, uh, the triggers on these hopefully, obviously, to go from the yellow light to um, the green light, we want just a timer. If you've ever seen traffic lights, you'll notice that the yellow lights are always, always on some form of timer. The transitions on the other states, though, would probably be triggered by cars being at these locations. And what we've got now is a semi-functional finite state machine. So we wait for a little while, um, when the, when the timer triggers, we go from the stopping state to the go state, and as soon as the go state notices a car traveling perpendicular to it, it will move to that stopping state and allow that car to move. Um, just to add the actions onto there, now it's a bit clearer what state the lights are in at each step, and that is our fully fledged finite state machine. The catch is, this actually has a problem if you implement this, and the problem is, at a busy intersection, this finite state machine will spend most of its time at yellow lights. Why? Because when we're in the go states, as soon as a car appears perpendicular to them, we will immediately transition to the yellow light. There is no waiting for uh, a set amount of time. This will create a big problem. Practically, however, this kind of design might work really, really well for the operation of traffic lights late at night, where you expect to have large periods of free flowing punctuated with a small amount of perpendicular traffic. Um, what we can do is just add another timer to these transitions, but that's not actually enough to improve our, uh, improve our performance. Why? Because the transitions that you can see here from the, uh, the go states are based on the presence of a car, not based on the ticking of a timer. Practically, that means we need new states. So um, have a think about what those states might look like, and we'll come into how you might implement them at the beginning of the next video.